These are both diaphoretic herbs. So it's additive in that they're both diaphoretic, but it's synergistic because they're different types of diaphoretics. And this is where these terms stimulant and relaxant really come in handy because it helps to further clarify the nature of an herbal action. It doesn't apply to every herbal action, but there are some where it does. So with diaphoretics, this distinction is, is I think, quite important. So the stimulant diaphoretic, in this case cayenne, drives the blood up to the surface. It's heating, it's stimulating, it's moving the blood. The relaxant diaphoretic, in this instance lobelia, relaxes the surface. It relaxes tension, so to speak, in the pores, tension in the capillary beds, so that that blood can reach the surface easier. So I always like the analogy of the, the kink in the garden hose, right? Lobelia, if like all the capillary beds are kinked, they have, they're constricted, the blood's not gonna reach the surface. A relaxant diaphoretic unkinks the hose, dilates that circulation, opens everything up so that the cayenne can bring it up to the surface. So that's a stimulant and relaxant diaphoretic combination, usually a really great strategy in the approachment, approaching uh, <clears throat> treatment of fever.